Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today we will be making these super cute 4th of July embellishments. They're pinwheel embellishments. I made a pinwheel wand and also a pinwheel paper clip. And these would be great to use, well the paper clip you could use in any paper crafting project, your traveler's notebook, a junk journal, um, just as a bookmark. And then the wand would be great in some happy mail and a loaded envelope or um, whatever um, as a gift or you can make several of them and have like a centerpiece for 4th of July and I made these pinwheels out of old playing cards so let's find out what you need for this project and get started the things you'll need for this project you will need some old playing cards. I have these here that are red on the back side and then I use the ones that were the red from the hearts and the diamonds so they were red on the other side or had red on the other side and then I also had these playing cards that are blue and red on the back side and then you will need a couple different size hole punches just or you can use your scissors but these are just for the center pieces so I have a one inch and like a three eighths or no like a three quarter inch and then you will need some paper clips I used a white one for my paper clip and then I used the other paper clip just to hold together because I'm using tacky glue because my glue gun kind of went kaput, kaput on me and I haven't gotten a newer one. So you will need glue. I have tacky glue, but the hot glue would be faster, of course. And then you will need a straw to make the wand. Then you will need a paper trimmer, and then lastly, you need some embellishments. I have this 4th of July confetti that I picked up last year, and then I have these um, tube ribbon-like things that came off the 4th of July headband that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. If you want to see what that headband looks like, they may still have them at your Dollar Tree. Go to, I will put a link for my 4th of July DIY down below and I show you what it looks like but I had taken it apart to use some of the parts of the headband on that Dollar Tree DIY and I didn't end up using this part so I thought it would be great to use as my decoration on the straw so all right and then also you will need some scissors so let's get this stuff cleared off and we will get started first one we're going to work on is this pinwheel paper clip. I used one of my playing cards and I'm going to cut this down so it's a square. This happens to be two and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to trim off one of the rounded edges and then I'm going to trim this to two and a half so it makes it a square. Now all you want to do is fold this diagonally both ways and then you want to grab your scissors and you're going to cut down each fold and leave about a half of an inch from the cut to the, in, the center of the card there. Do that on all four sides. All right, so now we're going to put a little bit of glue on one corner here. And you're just gonna start gluing folding it in, not folding, but pulling it and gluing it to the center because you want this, you don't want this to be creased. So I'm going to pull that into the point that's in the center there and I'm going to hold it and let it dry for like about a minute. 
and you'll do that for each of your little flaps here well for you know you'll be doing the right side of each of your triangles just going to top this off with my smaller hole or smaller circle punch. I'm gonna I punched out a blue one here and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue right into the center. As I said, this is a lot quicker with the hot glue, but I just don't have a, a new hot glue gun right now. I'm going to punch a one inch circle out of my blue here. I'm going to let this dry real quick and I'll be I'll be back. Now I'm going to glue a little red star in the center just for decoration. And then on the back I'm going to put some glue down and my paper clip and then this one is done. Super cute. Oops. And I plan on using these in some 4th of July junk journals. Oops. Ah. Definitely easier with the hot glue gun, I would say. So I'm just going to put my other paper clip on here and let this dry. And for our other project here, we'll take a little bit longer. But so what you want is four cards. I have two of this kind of card and then I have a one red and one blue. Take your paper trimmer and these cards are a little bit smaller. They're about two and a quarter. So I'm going to trim this one down to two and a quarter. Or both of them down to two and a quarter. And then cut cut it into a square and I'll do that on all of my cards Taking your one inch hole punch, you'll want to pick a color of another card and punch a one inch circle from that. So I'm just going to pick blue. And you'll lay this down, and this is your base. So I'm going to put the blue on the outside and I'll glue on this side. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is put glue at the intersection corner of your two shorter ends of your triangle here and you're going to glue that down so your point is right in the center of your circle now taking an alternating piece do the same put glue in the same spot now you're going to turn it 
and the corner is going to go to the center of the circle and you're, go, you're going to line this up halfway at the halfway mark on the long end of that first triangle. So that's perpendicular. And you'll be doing this all the way around. Now for the final one, put your glue down. You are going to be putting it in the same place except you're going to lift up this first flap and slide it underneath just like that so now we'll let this dry really well and we'll be back to finish up our pinwheel wand step is to start gluing down the corners here and what you're going to do is just put a little bit of glue here and then you're going to fold it over into the center but do not crease it just leave it rounded and you're going to go all the way around and in between just kind of hold it down for like a minute so it dries a little bit there and will stay so I'm going to go ahead and do that. With all the points glued together here in the center, I just stuck a paper clip over the top to hold them down, and then I set this aside to let it dry. So now I'm ready to go ahead and punch the center piece out. I'm going to punch it out of this blue card here. And then I'm just going to glue this to the center of my pinwheel and I'm just going to take the paper clip again and stick it on to hold it down and I'm going to let that dry and I'll be back and we'll finish up with our paper straw here with this dry here we're going to turn this over you're going to take your straw and flatten about an inch and we're going to put some glue right in the center to glue it down and then put your straw down and we're going to go ahead and punch another blue circle and glue that right on top just like that and again I'm going to stick my paper clip down to hold it there set it aside and we'll be back to finish up our wand I'm right, to finish this off all I'm gonna do is tie my little bouncy yarn here I don't even know what this is called I'm going to double knot it. First I'm going to put it, I'm going to tie it here and then I'll put it up underneath there. So I'm just going to knot this one too. And I'm just going to 
work it underneath my cards there. Just like that. And if you wanted to take some hot glue, you could secure it back there. And to finish off the top part, I'm going to glue this little flag confetti, sorry there, down on the top. Just like that. So super cute. Oops. Super cute, and I'll bring in the other ones here. There's my first one. And the paper clips. So, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.